EDTC 5720 Computer Network's Final Project A Presentation Submitted to Professor Perry Citroski In partial fulfillment of the requirements for EDTC 5720 at Webster University By Jeff Ferretra Mobile technology integration will upgrade the current equipment, network, and software of Allied Aircraft Manufacturing to support the change from printed publications to digital publications in the training environment. The student population makeup consists of both male and female students ranging in age from 19 to 50. The background, education level, and work experiences of each student varies from class to class. Currently. Allied Aircraft Manufacturing operates a Windows Vista, peer-to-peer -peer network with no wireless support and one printer. The classroom layout consists of 12 student desks, with two students per desk. Each student has a computer connected to the network with a CAT4 Ethernet cable. The classroom also includes a projector, pull-down screen, and whiteboard. Each student workstation has a Gateway GT5654 computer powered by a 2.64 GHz Athlon dual-core processor, with 3 GB of memory and a 500 GB hard drive. The instructor workstations are powered by a Lenovo B570 laptop with a 2.1 GHz Intel Pentium B950 processor and 8 GB of memory. Based on Allied Aircraft Manufacturing's new training guidelines, there is a need to upgrade the technological equipment, network, and to add wireless support. The new network service set identifier will be Allied Aircraft Manufacturing Student Network. Due to the AC power outlet locations and the network cable drops, the physical layout of the classroom will not change. However, CAT4 cable will be removed and replaced with CAT6, unshielded, twisted pair cable. This will increase the speed of the network from 16 to 1024 megabytes per second. The new network will be a server-based, start topology system. This will allow centralized administration for the IT department as well as easing the ability to update or replace hardware. The server will be a Dell T20 server. The server will be located in a lockable computer room that is climate and humidity controlled. The T20 server will operate on an Intel Xeon 3.2 GHz quad-core processor with 8 GB of DDR3 memory and a 7200 RPM, 1 TB hard drive. The operating system will be Windows Server 2012 R2 Essentials. Access to the server for all networked equipment will go through a Netgear Pro Safe 48 port network switch. This size switch will enable all devices access to the server at one time, and allow for future additions of workstations, printers, or other network equipment. The network switch offers easy web management with a native graphics user interface, a lifetime warranty and lifetime next business day part replacement. Ensuring long-range use Broadband Internet access will be provided through Comcast. The Deluxe 150 Broadband Service Package provides a 150 megabyte per second download rate, no data caps, and the ability to run backup servers if the need arises. Broadband service will be routed through a Netgear CM700 cable modem. This modem is compatible with Comcast service and provides 32 downstream channels. This 1 GB modem will easily handle the 150 MB per second service provided by Comcast. The need to add wireless capabilities now exists. Wireless service will be provided using a Netgear AC175 smart Wi-Fi router. This is a dual band, 802.11 AC. Beam forming plus router with a speed range of 450 to 1300 megabytes per second. Additionally, there are USB ports that allow sharing of hard drives and printers. The students will be using the wireless network in the lab to access digital publications. Because of the number of potential students on the wireless network at one time, 
a Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 dual band extender will be installed. This extender is capable of speeds up to 1.9 GB per second using the native Fastlane technology by using both Wi-Fi bands to establish one super high-speed connection. Included on the extender are 700 MW high-power amplifiers and three high-gain 5 dB antennas to ensure maximum Wi-Fi coverage. All printing, copying and scanning needs will be addressed using two Lexmark MX51 all-in-one laser printers. These printers will be centrally located for easy access by both students and instructors. These network-ready printers boast a 45 page per minute speed. File sharing will be accomplished with a Synology, 8-bay, DS1815 Plus disk system. As shown in the figure, this system offers both a read and write speed over 400 MB per second. Each bay will house a Western Digital Red Pro 6TB, 7200 RPM SATA 3 hard drive. The DS1815 Plus also supports hot swappable hard drive support almost eliminating system downtime. With Disk Station Manager, the IT department will have the ability to optimize RAID configuration with Synology Hybrid RAID providing redundant data protection. All workstations will utilize Windows Defender. In addition to the file storage capabilities of the Synology, there is the ability to provide security. Synology Disk Station Manager includes Security Advisor which analyzes setup, passwords, and removes possible malware. Another native security feature included on the Disk Station is App Armor which blocks malicious programs from accessing unauthorized system resources. Student workstations will be configured with a Microsoft Surface Book. Each Surface will operate on a 6th generation Intel Core i7 processor and 8GB of memory. This all-in-one device includes a 13 and 1 half inch display with 3000 by 2000 resolution and a 10 point multi-touch screen. Wireless capabilities include 802.11 AC wireless networking with support for IEEE 802.11A, B, G, N networks, and Bluetooth 4.0. The instructor workstation will be an Inspiron 3650 desktop computer with a 6th generation Intel Core i3 6100 processor and 8GB of single channel DDR3L memory. Wireless capabilities include a 2.4 GHz, 802.11 B, G, and N wireless adapter and Bluetooth 4.0. There are 6 USB ports and audio jacks for use with the smart board. The instructor workstation will include a Dell SE2216H, 22-inch screen LED lit monitor. This monitor offers full 1920 by 1080 high definition resolution and connections for both desktop and laptop computers. Smart board support will be provided using a Smart KAPPIQ 55 inch capture board. In addition to Windows support, this board also offers compatibility with both the Android and Apple iOS operating systems. This board offers 4K ultra high definition finger, pen, and palm gestures, and natural writing and erasing. There is also the ability to host live sessions between multiple smart KAPPIQ displays across remote locations and to share content via a live URL. All projector requirements will be met using an InFocus INI12X SVGA projector with an 800 by 600 resolution. This 3200 lumens projector is a 10,000 hour projector with a throw rate of 1.9 to 2.09. Data backup will be completed using the Synology DS1815+. Synology Hyper Backup is a native program that will allow the IT department to schedule backups and restore the server to any particular date point. The total cost of $88,605.22 for this project includes delivery, setup, equipment, and two years of technical support and on-site troubleshooting. Included with this presentation is a detailed breakdown of equipment, cost, quantity, and reference links. Having presented all of our findings, 
we feel that a server and start topology network is best suited for allied aircraft manufacturing. This system allows easy access and support while minimizing system downtime. While more expensive, the Surface Books selected for students will allow portability and use in the lab. The touch screen and stylus will allow students to use the devices without the need to remove personal protective equipment like gloves or lab coats. Wireless network support was added to enable students to access digital publications on the Surface Books in the lab. The all-in-one printers eliminate the need for additional devices and reduce possible equipment failure points within the network, and the Synology Disk Station's native programs provide security, data backup control, and easily shared file access. Finally, we have created an easy-to-read and follow network diagram for the Allied Aircraft Manufacturing Student Network. This diagram shows how all the devices, workstations, and wireless system will interconnect and interact with each other.